We're going to start off this mobility warm up with some dynamic leg swings. You want to make sure you plant your foot firmly down into the ground. You can see that I push my hip forward for stability and then swing the leg forward and backwards. 15 to 20 repetitions on one leg before switching to the other leg. It's not about height here, but really it's more about the planted leg, creating stability in your leg and hip, and using the swinging leg to help train that stability. So if you can't swing your leg very high, that's okay. Just find the, the position where you're building stability in your hip and your glute and you're not falling over. And then you can work up towards bringing your leg higher as you become more stable. So repeat 15 to 20 on the opposite leg. Next we're gonna do lateral leg lifts. This is less dynamic and more controlled. Again, you wanna plant that foot firmly down, nice and tall through the spine. You don't want to tilt over in this, you want to stay nice and tall. So you're going to bring your leg out to the side only as high as you can stay straight. If you start to fall over, don't lift your leg as high. You also want to make sure that your toe is, remains pointing forward and doesn't rotate out. You don't want to externally rotate the hip on this, you want the toes pointing forward. So again, only go as high as that is possible. You're going to do 8 to 10 leg lifts on one leg. Again, stay nice and tall. Keep the toe pointed forward. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. And the point is here to slowly lift and lower your leg. It's a nice and controlled movement. And what's really being worked here, not only your mobility in that leg, over time you'll be able to get higher and you'll be able to stand tall, but also you're going to feel this burning in your glutes as well, so it's creating stability in your hips. Next we have shoulder screwdrivers. You're going to put your arms in a T-shape and you're going to kind of corkscrew your shoulder forward. So you can see I'm driving my sh shoulder forward and down. The direction I'm looking, my palm's facing up. I'm going to perform four to five in each direction. Next we have cobra presses. So we're going to get down on our belly. And we're just gonna do the cobra, or upward dog sort of portion. You're gonna have your elbows tucked into your sides, so they're driving backwards. You're gonna keep them as close to your sides as possible. And you're gonna push away from the ground and draw your chest up to the ceiling. Also pulling, pulling your shoulders back and down. So don't let the shoulders pop up towards your ears. You want to pull them down and back and lift your rib cage, your chest, your heart up to the sky. And tilt your neck back. Don't strain. Just go as far as that's comfortable for you. You're going to do eight to ten repetitions. Next we're going to do a side hip root. You're going to push your hips back at a 45 degree angle. So they're not going, this is like a hinge movement, but it was a 45 degree angle. So if you were to do any hinge deadlift type of movement, you would push your hips directly back. And here we're pushing them to the side. You want to maintain a nice tall, long posture. So you don't want to bring your chest towards the ground. You have a nice, solid line from your wrists, your shoulder to your butt. This is 45 degree 
and then you're driving your hips forward, pushing the hip back, little stretch, load in the hamstring, and pushing forward. Healing elbow circles, get into a tabletop position, knees under hips and wrists directly underneath your shoulders. You're going to lower your body by driving the elbows out and then rotating them around towards your sides and pushing yourself up. That's direction number one. Do about four to five in one direction. And then you're going to switch and go in the opposite direction. Drive the elbows back like you're lowering down into a push-up. Driving the elbows back and rotating them out to the side and pushing yourself back up. Alternating floor scorpions, draw one leg up towards your butt and then rotate over, touching behind you. Your arms will be reaching out in opposite directions toward the walls. Drawing your leg up to your thigh and then rotating over and touching behind you. That's kind of Shin box extensions, you're going to be in a 90-90 position. And then you're going to come up and drop back down. Shin box because you're coming up on your shin. You're in like a triangle position. One leg's out in front on the shin and then your other leg is behind you sort of coming back into 90 degrees. You can, if you're unable to lift yourself up without support, you can put one arm behind you to help lift you up and then as you progress you can move to no hands. So you can put one arm behind you, help to push yourself up, drive the hips forward. We're going to get the heart rate up before the workout. You're going to do high knees, knees up high as you can, sprint our arms, driving the elbows back, hands forward, knees high as you can, high knees on the spot. Keep going, keep going, knees up, knees up. Squat, walk out to the top of a plank position. Rotate up and then walk back in, your knees close to the ground the whole time, as close as you can. And then you're going to rotate up, nice, long, straight arms. You want your wrists directly underneath your shoulders on these. So you walk out, wrists are directly under the shoulder and you're going to rotate up, pushing away from the ground. And when you walk back in, keep your knees as low as possible into a low squat. Don't stand up, stay in the squat. You're going to do, and then you're going back into high knees, like knees up, knees up, knees up, sprinter arms. The sprinter arms will help, the sprinter arms will get your knees up higher. Knees up, knees up, knees up, and then we're going back into a squat. Walk out, top of a push-up position, rotate your arm up, back down, wrist directly underneath the shoulder at all times. Rotate the opposite way, nice tall, inline arms, knees low, Stay in low squat, don't stand up. Back out. Rotate up. And walk back in. One more on the other side. Rotate. And then knees back in. And we're done, boom.